Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Family Storytime. I'm Mr. Kelvin and it's always wonderful to see you again. Now, just so you know, we have virtual story times happening for the library. The library's back open so you can come out and check books and everything. But we also have outdoor story times that are going on as well. It is getting a little bit chilly, but we are still doing it. So we encourage you to come join us. Now, it's a family story time, so I want to make sure that the parents and kids are together, if you can. So we can all have some fun and we can all learn together. So if you're ready, let me hear a great big yeah. Mm, you can do that a little bit louder. Let me hear a great big yeah. All right, very nice. All right, now, I'd like to start out with a nice little hello, good morning. So give me a few moments to get my Jimbe here, yes. All righty. Hello, good morning, my friends. 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 Hello, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ohio. 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 Buongiorno. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning, my friends. Well, good morning. Now, just so we know, we said good morning in three different ways. We said good morning, which is English. We said Ohio, which is Japanese. And we said buongiorno, which is Italian. So, very good job. Now, let's see what animals have come to visit us this morning. All right. Oh, hello. When frogs get up in the morning, when frogs get up in the morning, when frogs get up in the morning, what do you think they say? Did you say ribbit? Yes, that's right. Ribbit is what they say. Ribbit is what they say. Ribbit is what they say. When frogs get up in the morning, Ribbit is what they say. Ribbit. Thank you very much, Frog. All right, I'm gonna put you away. All right, now let's see what other things we have here. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. We have ourselves and owl, yes. When owls get up in the morning, when owls get up in the morning, when owls get up in the morning, what do you think they say? Do you think they say what? Do you think you say when? They say who? Oh, yes, of course. Who is what they say? Who is what they say? Who is what they say? When owls get up in the morning, who is what they say? Ooh. All right, thank you, Mr. Owl. Did you know that owls have some of the best eyes to look at things in the nighttime? But also because of that, they're not very smart. All right, so we're gonna put that away. <laughs> oh, let's see what we have here. This one's a little bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a fluffy little sheep, yes. When sheeps get up in the morning, when sheep get up in the morning, when sheep get up in the morning, what do you think they say? What do you what do you say? Ma is what they say. Ma is what they say. Ma is what they say. When sheep get up in the morning, ma is what they say. Thank you, little sheep. Ma. All right. Now I think we have one more. 
Ooh. Yes. We have the king of the jungle, the lion. When lions get up in the morning, when lions get up in the morning, when lions get up in the morning, what do you think they say? And I want to hear you do it nice and loud, parents and kids alike. Are you ready? One, two, three, roar is what they say. Roar is what they say. Roar is what they say when lions get up in the morning. Roar is what they say. All righty, Mr. Lion, thank you very much. Roar. All right. Now he acts all tough, but just so you know, female lions do all the hunting. I just want you to know that. All right, but now that we've had our animals visit, let's do a little song of our own. So we're going to get our space helmets on, put them on, make sure that you can breathe the space, all right? And then we're going to get our rocket ships going, rub your hands. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and blast off! Very good. Now let's do that one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And we're going to count down this time. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and blast off! Very good stuff. You all did a wonderful, wonderful job. I'm going to give you a hand clap for that. All right, but it's a story time, right? So we should be doing the alphabet. We're, we're going to do the alphabet a little differently. We're going to stand up this time and we're going to get moving a little bit, all right? So, stretch, stretch, stretch to the alphabet. A, B, C, E. Stretch, stretch, stretch to the alphabet. D, E, F, G, H, I. Just say hi, and J goes jumping around. K is for kick, a great big kick. And L is for lollipop, we lick, lick, lick. Stretch, stretch, stretch to the alphabet. M, N, O, P, stretch, stretch, stretch to the alphabet. Q, R, S, T, U goes up, up on your toes. V is for victory, everyone knows. W, the worm that wiggles and bends and stop. For X, Y, Z, the end. Excellent job, everyone. Good job, good job. Now that we've done our alphabet, let's see what our letter of the day will be. All right. Let's see, it's the letter. D, yes, the letter D. Now, what starts with the letter D? Let's find out. I'm gonna put this back. We'll pull on our first thing. And our first thing is, we have D for dog. Yes, cute little puppy dog. Yes, ruff, ruff. Oh, thank you. Yes, all right, yes, we have our dog. All right, let's get our next thing here. We have, is this my favorite puppet? Yes, it's our little ducky. Oh, no, don't be shy, don't be shy, say hi. Yes, very good, very good. Hello, little ducky. D is for duck, or ducky. Yes, put you back. 
All right, now let's see what other little animal that we might find on the farm, you know, things of that nature. Like a dinosaur! D is for dinosaur, yes, Roar. We wouldn't find this on a farm, but that's okay, yes. D is for dinosaur. Rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Dinosaur, for visiting. And last but not least, another animal that we might see, you know, just out and about on a normal afternoon. A dragon! Who is also breathes fire and everything, and it has the wings, yes. Does anyone like Taco Dragon? I like Taco Dragon. Now, um, just so you know, we're having the winter reading program happening soon. That's gonna have a lot to do with dragons, so keep an eye out to your local library for it. So D is for dragon, yes. Now, let's draw the letter D. So we hold up our one little finger. We're going to start at the top and we're gonna come down. Then we come back up, we're going to wrap around. Very good, let's try that one more time. One little finger, down, back to the top, and wrap around. Very good, and that is our letter D. Well, we've done our alphabet, we've done our letter of the day, we've seen the animals that come to visit us, now it's a story time. So I think it's about time for a story. So if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Now if you're looking with your eyes and you listen with your ears, you are ready for a story, clap your hands. All right. All right. Our first story is going to be called Drawn Together by Min Le and Dan Santat. Now, something that you're going to notice is that there's not going to be a lot of words, especially in the beginning. So I'm going to tell you what the pictures are, but I think you can observe that it still tells the story in a way too. So let's look at it together. We have our opening words as well. Sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. We're going to find out what that exactly means as we look through the story. All right, so our story starts off with the boy ringing the doorbell and answering, it looks like it's his grandfather. They do a nice greeting, they wave bye to the mom, and the grandpa happily welcomes him inside, but he doesn't seem very happy. They sit down for a meal, and they're very, very different meals. We have ramen, the grandfather's eating, with eggs and noodles. But then we have hot dog and fries, which sounds pretty good right now, for the boy. Even though it's different meals, it's still food. So you sit down. So what's new, Grandpa? But the grandfather responds, and the boy can't understand. So they just stay silent at the table. They decide to sit down and watch some television. The grandpa looks at the boy. The character on the TV is doing something, but he can't really understand what he's saying. The grandfather is asking something, but the boy can't really understand. So he just says, can we watch something else? There's that silence again. The boy decides to get up from the couch. He sits down at the table, but he's pulling something out of his backpack. It's paper, markers, pencils, colored pencils. The boy's drawing. The grandfather sees this. He's drawing a little character. And the grandfather begins to smile. The grandfather goes to get something of his own, but it looks like he's also getting a book of kinds. And this time, it's his sketchbook. And then here we go, we have some words. Right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a world beyond words. And in a flash, with a stroke of the paintbrush, or rather inkbrush, we see each other for the first time. The boy's character, and then we have the grandfather's character. Beautiful artwork. 
All the things we could never say come pouring out. They begin making beautiful artwork. Giant fish, the colors, a little monkey. And we build a new world that even words can't describe. Sometimes when you look at artwork, we can try to use words to describe it, but sometimes it's just best to look. Hmm. But just when we're closer than ever, something's happening. Oh, the little boy's character is falling down. The grandfather is getting thrown off by something. What's happening? That old distance, very big, big hole. In between now, the little boy on this side and the grandfather all the way on this side comes roaring back. We have our dragon popping right out of the hole in between the grandfather and the boy. The grandfather looks and sees the young man's little wand. He picks it up and he begins getting color for himself. And the boy, he picks up the grandfather's ink brush. And this time, I'm not afraid. And he picks it up with bravery. And the grandfather and the boy, because I know that together, they decide to fight the dragon. We can make our way across. And now they created a bridge all across that distance, the grandfather running towards the boy. And now after years of searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily speechless. And we have all the beautiful art that they created throughout their wonderful adventure and a wonderful hug. And here we have the grandfather and the boy saying hi to the mom. Mom gives a nice warm hug the boy in the car with a smile, and one last exchange, an ink brush and a marker. They wave, and that is the end of our story. Now that story is very important because you don't necessarily always have to use words to communicate with someone. Sometimes we have family members that are from different countries. Sometimes we have friends that might not necessarily have the ability to speak like you and I. But a good way to communicate is through drawing or even through writing. So our story showed that the grandfather and the son, they were able to still connect despite that rift. And they were able to bridge that gap, we saw the bridge in the story, through their drawings and letting love shine through in the end. It's a very important story. But now, We've read our story, we've calmed down, but let's get a little moving before we do our next story, okay? So I want you to get your wheels moving. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The stairs on the bus go up and up, up and up, up and up. The stairs on the bus go up and up all through the town the money on the bus goes clink 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 the money on the bus goes clink 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 all through the town the babies on the bus go wah 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 the babies on the bus go wah 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 all through the town the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Very good job. You all deserve a round hand of applause for that. Very good. Very nice. Our second story is Where Are You From? by Yamil Mendez.
illustrated by Jamie Kim. All right. Nice little opening shot right here. Where are you from? They ask. Is your mom from here? Is your dad from there? They ask. I'm from here, from today, same as everyone else, I say. No, where are you really from, they insist. I ask abuelo, because he knows everything. Abuelo means grandfather in Spanish. And like me, he looks like he doesn't belong. Where am I from? Abuelo thinks. His eyes squint like he's looking inside his heart for an answer. He's got a nice smile, too. You come from the Pampas, the open, free land, he says. Beautiful orange grass, green hills. You're from the Gaucho, brave and strong. From the brown river that cleanses and feeds the land, that gives us the grain for our bread, the milk from the cows. You're from the mountains so high, they tickle Senor Cicielo's belly, where the condor roosts his family and the jaguar prowls the night. Ew, those are vultures. And a tall, tall mountain. But you're also from the warm blue oceans, the copper warriors tried to tame, and the elegant palm trees stretch their fingers to caress. You're from hurricanes and dark storms, and a tiny singing frog that calls the island people home when the sun goes to sleep. There's our little frog over there. From this land where our ancestors built a home for all, even when they were in chains because of the color of their skin. It's a beautiful sunset, beautiful oranges. You're from the grandmothers who search for their grandchildren, waiting always, waiting in a plaza, their white handkerchiefs wrapping the sorrow of their thoughts. You come from the sunshine that lights our path in this world and the rain that washes away our mistakes. But Abuelo, I ask, where am I really from? Abuelo laughs. You want a place? He points to his heart. You're from here from my love and the love of all those before us. From those who dreamed of you because of a song sung under the Southern Cross, or the words in a book written under the light of the North Star. You, you are from all of us. I am. And that is the end of our story. Now that story is also very important. Where we come from, our origins, are not just relegated to just where we lay our head to rest, or where our parents were born, or where you were born. Where you're from is based off of who you are, but also those who love you. How the abuelo said that where the granddaughter was from, was from inside his heart. But not only his heart, but her heart. 
as well. She is who she is and you are who you are. Like for example, myself, my parents, they are both from the Caribbean. My father from Grenada, my mother from Jamaica. For me, I was born in Rhode Island and stuff. If they ask me where I'm from, I don't necessarily have to say Rhode Island. I don't have to necessarily say I'm Caribbean American. I just say I am who I am and that's okay. So these books, if you liked hearing them and if you liked the fact that, you know, they're available to read, where are you from and drawn together, they're actually in our library system. You can actually check them out. You can always go to a different branch. You can place them on hold to be picked up at a later time, or we can see if they have them available to check out that day. So by all means, look through the library's website through vbgov libraries, search our catalog to see if you can find them. But that's the end of our story time. But before we go, I always like to say a nice goodbye song. So long, farewell, goodbye. So long, farewell, Adios. So long, farewell, adieu. Hand on your heart. It was so fun to spend time with you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your holiday season. And we'll see you again. Goodbye.